Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. This is a PS editorial. One is to YouTube and one is to my audience. Here's first for the audience. I hate to forget unsung heroes from the projects. Honestly, the kickoff and they was pipe layers you understand, they laid the pipe work, they laid the foundation down in the projects and they can't be forgotten. Brother Greg Rose, another project legend. Brother Buster Nelson, another project legend for the fat man. T.D. Cannot forget T.D. He was a ground layer, layer in a pipe layer. You understand, and definitely Fat Frank, who is no longer with us. We cannot forget Fat Frank. I can't forget Lala and the Robinson family. I was closest to young Spencer. He used to always come over to Courtney's and them house next door to me in Southfield. So I knew Spencer Robinson the best. Lala, we pay homage to because he was in Motown Mafia, and Pam, Tony, and definitely, definitely Uncle Jay. You understand? We got to give a shout out to Uncle Jay. That's all my project legends that I forgot that I had to remember and have to be remembered because they was ground layers, pipe makers. You understand? For the fat man, they was laying pipe and putting the groundwork down for the dynasty. You understand? And I got to say, in the Southfield, Northland Gardens, one I forgot. He used to live two doors down from Smokey Robinson. His name was Mr. Moore, and he was Otis, Otis's man, Otis Reynolds' main man. You understand? Me and Otis used to talk about him all the time. And I told Otis, if that's him, he got a son named Eugene Moore in which I went to school with, and I used to go over his house all the time. He lived two doors down from Smokey Robinson. He had a house that had a big ceramic a ceramic ball. It was beautiful. It had a big blue ceramic ball with tile on in the front of it. The inside of it had like Chinese-style cabinets and shit. So Mr. Moore is one of the ones who have truly been there since the 60s and early 70s. He is an originator pipe layer, and I hear he's still around. So peace to all the old school, real ones that's still out there doing their thing, Mr. Moore, Courtney, the Black Dispatch, Donna Jean, and all the rest. Peace and love to all of you, because you were truly ground layers for the fat man laying the ground in pipe. You understand? So I have to give a heads up to all of you and anybody else I forgot I think about, I holler about your story with you later. Let me say one more thing and I'm out for all of you. To YouTube. <clears throat> this is especially for YouTube. They have a comment and a suggestion on our thing. And I'm going to put it in the suggestion box on my channel. But I'm going to put it out there in the air too so you all are here just as well as me suggesting it. I think YouTube in viewing and, and rating our videos, they should do it like the movies. They should make a video like mine, rated R. But not rate it before the, anybody see it so you'll know this video is rated R. You don't penalize a rated R movie because it's a rated R movie. You rate it. You say, hey, or if it's PG, this is laugh comedy. If it's action, rate it. Instead of saying, okay, you talk too much, da, 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 we just going to kill you on points. Rate it and let the people see before they ever see it. This is not the kind of conversation you might want to hear your kids hear. So it's rated R. If it was bad in the day, it was rated X. We need a rating, X, a rating thing here on YouTube where before you look at this video, you see this is rated R. It's not meant for kids. So why penalize a rated R movie at the theaters? You don't penalize a rated R movie. You say, hey, this is rated R. If you want to go see it, go see it. 
it's rated R. If it's PG, hey, you all, this is PG, safe for the kids, go see it. This is rated PG. The same thing here. We need ratings to say, hey, Eddie Jackson is rated X. If you like rated X shit, look at him. He rated R, Eddie Jackson, or whatever you rated. Rated strong content and strong language, sometimes strong subject. So I would say rated R. I think it should be a rating thing where if a person watches, it, you don't penalize me because they watch me speaking the way I watch. Just tell them before they watch me speaking like that, hey, this rated R. Give them a chance to say yes or no. I don't want to hear people talking like that. And that's fair to all of us. Let's update everything and make it better, including YouTube. And this is my suggestion to YouTube. Rate all videos with what they are and put that rating up there before it plays. So the parents know, everybody know what you're watching. If you're watching Millie Jackson, Talk Dirty in the 70s, rated R. If you're watching Dota Mike, Talk in the 70s, rated R. If you're watching Richard Pryor, Talk in the 70s, rated R. And definitely Jimmy Lynch, The Funky Tramp, was rated R in the 70s. So I think here at YouTube, let's get a ratings system that's fair for all. That's science. We all enjoy what we're doing. So let's just make it better. This is a comment, no harshness to be taken. It's a comment to say, let's all make things better. And this is Eddie Jackson Jr. saying, take a look at Crime Town over there, Crime Town over there on Spotify, Kingpin's Kids. And you will hear the fat man, Eddie Jackson Sr. say to Ron Gill Valley, we're going to be saying a lot of each other. So I say to you all, in the immortal words of my father, Eddie Jackson Sr., we're going to be seeing a lot of each other. Peace, love, and subscribe, and like. Thank you to all. Have a great one. Do something nice for somebody. Peace and love. I'm out.